Okay, sorry about the noise. This is my Aprilla running the catfish map. After having the valves adjusted, the throttle on idle was really up and down to the point where it was cutting out, stalling, um, being a complete and utter bitch. Um, so, these are the settings I've managed to get it to run best with, believe it or not. So, 10.2 idle trim, minus 7 on the um, air valve, and long term fuel trim of 6.5. And um, yeah, so that's nice steady idle there. But what I had to do, there you go, lovely. And there's the um, pulse in the injectors, the coils, the throttle, the idle, and all the other stuff. And there it is on the map. But what I had to do, was, I know these aren't the manometer ones, they're carb ones, but you get the idea. So this one here is going to the is going to the rear cylinder. This one here. So I wanted more suction on that one than that one, but not really turned out that way so because I believe well, I know this is a big debate but they're fairly close they're fairly close so I've got it connected up here front one here the rear one and you can adjust them in here one on both throttle bodies but and that's with the fan coming on now Nice steady idle. Little pop through my um, can, sucks a bit of air in. Um, yeah. Hang on, let me turn that off and we'll restart it in a bit. Fan still run. So, getting back to the. Um, obviously, I've lost comms because I've just turned the ignition off. But getting back to the uh, vacuum gauges on this bike. Uh, because it, the rear cylinder has to turn the crank 420 degrees, that's a, a lot of energy. I believe it has greater fueling and greater air to the rear cylinder because the front cylinder only has to turn it 300. Um, this is how it is with the other generation one bikes and the, the, the crank rotation is still the same. So I've tried to set my bikes up with more, more suction, more air, going into the rear cylinder for a bigger hit to turn it more um, and I found my bikes so much smoother off idle which you know is where you want it smooth for all sorts of reasons so that's how I set my bikes up um, I know there's a big debate a lot of people say it's got to be equal um, and the factory book may say it's got to be equal actually to be honest but I believe it needs more air in the rear I say a lot of a lot of tuners set them up. Um, just makes it smoother pulling away. So I hope that's been helpful to some people or hasn't confused them. Um, Got to stop saying that as well. So anyway, done the valves. Real bad erratic idle. Basically, I've had to adjust the um, or sink the throttle bodies. I did stupidly play around with the. Um, Turn that on and connect again. I did stupidly play around with the fueling, thinking it was that. I don't know why I done that, but I did. Um, but I put the fueling back to where it was. Uh, just hopefully that will connect. Waiting to connect. Red, amber. Go on, green, 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 please. Oh, go on, go on, green. So, yeah. So I did. I did play around with it, and I gave the. Uh, I adjusted the speed control up to something like 10 and gave the idle a, a minus number um, but I think I was just taking too much fuel away so hopefully um, all is sorted now let's do another hot start and see where we are so, here we go it's hunting again okay after a little bit more tweaking of the 
idle fuel. I'm now at that. 12.5 and and temperature wise cycling with the fan on and off so it's 92 on there but over here and stable. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, so this one is my rear one and as you can see it's got a little bit more vacuum than this one. So in my mind the rear one's getting more air and I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me I don't know which one out of these two, oh sorry, this one here, 1.8 1.7, I don't know which one's the front and one the rear. I was going to say I assume the first one was the front one but that's reasonably, well they are different but I would have thought the rear one was putting more fuel in it. I suppose if you go to the map um, and you go to two Compare that one with that one. Um, you might be able to understand something, but anyway, there's the idle, and there's the warm up. This is all the swordfish map, so I haven't touched any of that, but she's ticking over like a champ now. So, valves adjusted, and if you do adjust the valves, there goes the fan cutting in again. If you do adjust the valves, or if you adjust six like I did, make sure you check the throttle bodies. Um, I hope this helps somebody. I've learnt something. Not to bloody touch these trims. Looks excessive, but I think what I'll do, I'll run it for a bit and I'll do a plug check um, to check it over to see what the plug is. So the idle looks a little bit lower there now, 1280. Oh hang on, let's have a look. Let's put it on diagnostics. Oh, there you go. That's a bit better. 13, 13, 13. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So there's the setting. So I hope that helps somebody. Um, yeah. Didn't tell you I fell off it yesterday. Hence the mud everywhere. Boy these are heavy. That's alright people show you on a nice bit of grass or concrete where you can get purchased but my bike was in the mud and the further I pushed it, <coughs> excuse me, it just slid backwards. <coughs> so somebody had to help me move it. Anyway, it's enough waffling for me. I hope I've helped somebody if they get an erratic idling, um, especially after doing their valves. And there's my gauge, it's all working nicely. So, 28 degrees in there, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, I hope it helps anybody. And um, if I can help anybody, um, message me. Thank you. Good night.